Rove McManus, Sam Frost. Today FM. And Sam, this is one of our favourite parts of the show, where we get to talk to someone with an interesting tale to tell. Mm -hmm. For example, it could be an ex-addict. Yeah, we spoke to an escort, a private investigator. A trans woman. Yeah, that was very interesting. That was one of my favourites, I think. Yes, and we do it by asking them this. I have a quest for questions. Questions with... Now, this one today, Sam, is a very interesting one, as we have questions with... A futurist. Ooh. Now, yeah, the first question is probably, what is a futurist? Well, let's find out as we chat to Shara Evans. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Rev. Hi, Sam. So, you know what we're going to ask first off? Hit us with the answer. <laughs> okay. A lot of people think that futurists are fortune tellers who can predict what's going to happen, but we're not. We're far from it. Futurists tend to be specialists in particular areas who, after lots of reading, research and analysis, make predictions about the future. So what do you foresee in, like, the next five to ten years? So there are probably three mega trends that I would talk to you about over the coming yes. ten years. He was one of the evil transformers. <laughs> <laughs> well, believe it or not, Transformers, which are groups of robots that can work together in a swarm. That's already in the research labs and has been for a really long time. There's some really interesting things going on there, especially with flying robots. Flying robots. This is crazy talk. Uh, What's the evolution of cars, do you think? What's next for us? Oh, that's huge. There are billions of dollars being poured into this whole area of driverless cars. And really yeah. what we're talking about is robot cars. Yeah. I used to work for a car company and they were saying that there's going to be cars that can just drive themselves. You know, Well, they're already being trialled. Oh, you know, it's not brilliant. science fiction. It's real. So, Shara, that's the things that we're throwing out at you. What stuff have you seen or do you predict that we might not even be aware of yet? Mm. Well, there is something that I'm really keen on called augmented reality. And what it means is that if you've got a smartphone or smart glasses and you're looking out at the world, you see superimposed in your line of sight the kind of information that you might have on a computer screen or in your nav system. Instead of going back and forth from your smartphone to figure out where you're going, you can see in a heads-up display exactly what it is. Wow. Do you feel like technology is moving so fast it's hard to keep track of? Like, I I, I honestly feel like I buy the new phone and then there's a new one the next month and you just go, damn it. Like, (laughs) do, do you think it's just moving so uncontrollably fast? Well, it is moving very fast and it's going to get even faster and faster still. Do you reckon we can just put a little microchip in our brain? Do you reckon that's ever going to happen? Well, there are already pills that are FDA approved in America (laughs) that have little tiny chips in them that are able to transmit to a patch on your skin and from there transmit to a smartphone app that can tell your doctor, for instance, how often you've taken your medicine and do other diagnostics and things. So um, I know this isn't really your field, but I'm just curious to know if you know. Do you think with all the technology that's happening and everything that's evolving, do you think that it's just so the government can keep track of everything, control it from a higher power? Well, the technology isn't being developed specifically for the government, but the governments around the world are definitely taking advantage of this. Yeah. And, yep, and they are doing some things that I find really disturbing. There was a big fight in the U.S. just recently of Apple versus the FBI, where eventually the FBI backed down because they were able to find a private security firm to hack an iPhone. And they did. A terrorist. Yes, they did. Do you feel optimistic about the future of technology? I think that there can be a wonderful future ahead of us, but if we don't take security and privacy and ethics very seriously as we design products, then we could find that we're living in a future that we don't want to live in. Yep, I agree. Well, thank you very much for enlightening us on what a futurist does and making us terrified about that future in the process. Thank you so much, Shari. You're a superstar and I'm obsessed with you. A real pleasure talking to you. Thanks a lot. Lovely chatting, Rev and Sam.